Hello, welcome to Quest AL TV, and today we're going to build the Star Fury from Babylon 5. This was requested by one of my viewers. Thank you. That was awesome. And uh, this build is a uh, B class uh, ship. Requires piloting skill 3 because it's a B class ship, and then uh, Starship Design 4. Um, Along the way, of course, you'll have options for your reactor and uh, grav drive and all of that sort of um, business that requires Starship Design 4. If you don't have those uh, skills, you can build it how you like. Uh, but I didn't want to uh, short you guys on uh, the high-powered version of this ship. So make the ship your own, and uh, we'll get to the ship parts. Here's the ship parts for the uh, Star Fury. And uh, I've condensed it so, for example, we have sh a Shroud Cowling 1LA, and we've got 10 of those. But we won't build all of them all at the same time. So, But this is all the ship parts that you'll need. And we'll uh, check the value of the ship later uh, so you know how many credits that you'll need. And we'll leave it here on this screen long enough for you guys to uh, pause if you need to uh, see what you need to build the ship. But at any rate, let's get to it. All right, I'm going to build this uh, ship level by level because uh, last time I tried to build it by ship part by ship part, I got confused. He's a big dumb animal, folks. Um, so we'll start with the ship bed 200 landing bay. And that is from Tayo Astroneering. Okay. Demo storeroom right behind that for a connector. And then underneath there, let's just get this out of the way. The 100 DP Slim Docker for the bottom of that uh, demo storeroom. Behind that, we'll place the 104 DS Mag Inertial Reactor. Uh, that is from Dogstar. Requires piloting rank 3 because it's a B-class reactor. And Starship Design rank 4. That'll give us 39 generated power for the ship. All right, next to the HAB here, I'm going to place the Aculander 11 landing gear from Stroud Eklund. And another one on the other side. And two right behind it next to the reactor. Okay. Then we're going to place the uh, Stroud mid bracer to continue the wing out. On either side of the back, uh, the aft Aculander 11 landing gear. All right. Then we're going to place the Deimos bumper for cowling, port 4 and starboard 4, on the sides of the front Aculander 11 landing gear. Then on the outside of those, we're going to place the Dunn 71 engine from Ammon Dunn, generating 5,250 maneuvering thrust, each one of them. And place the Deimos wing A. We're going to place the um, forward uh, portion of the Deimos wing A on the aft portion of the Dunn 71 engine, creating some of the cool cowling that we've got on the outside of the Star Fury. I'm going to move this back to center and get on to the next level. Next level is Deimos All-in-One Berth. And that is placed uh, the forward ver uh, portion of the Deimos All-in-One Berth is placed over the Shipbed 200 landing bay. And just for looks, we're going to put a porthole on the front of that Deimos All-in-One Berth. And then to either side, we're going to get our fuel tanks out of the way using the M30 Ulysses Helium Tank. That has 100 grav jump fuel. 200 grav jump fuel uh, is enough to probably get you anywhere that you need to go. Especially since this ship's going to have a jump range of 30 light years. And then we're going to hide on top of our reactor, we're going to hide the Vanguard Bulwark Shield Generator. All right. 
Then we're going to start with uh, the next item is actually the other Deimos storeroom that was listed. Uh, that's going to be placed on top of the aft portion of the Deimos all-in-one berth. Okay, and then we're going to place the Armstrong 20R cockpit on the front of that storeroom and on top of the Deimos all-in-one berth, the forward portion of that. Okay, then we're going to have the uh, Aurora 13G grav drive. That's going to go behind the Deimos storeroom here. And that has 33 grav jump thrust requiring Starship Design Rank 2. We're going to use two more of our, or two of our Stroud cowlings here. Stroud cowling 1LA on either side of the Deimos storeroom. Then we're going to place another Stroud cowling. We're going to have to flip that around uh, so it's facing out. Stroud cowling 1LA on top of those other Stroud cowlings. You can take these and uh, flip them around with Z until you have the correct configuration for those. Behind those Stroud cowlings, we're going to place two more Stroud cowlings in the same position. So if you didn't have this here, you can just hit Control G, copy that back. We're going to keep our coloration on that though. By hitting Control Z, we'll just undo the last two things that we did. Okay. Then on the outside of those Stroud cowlings, we're going to place some more Stroud cowlings. in the starboard bottom position and port bottom position. Then we're going to take uh, Deimos bumper for cowling on either side of these forward Stroud cowlings that we placed a minute ago. Then we're going to take a Deimos spine B and place it right here on top of the demo storeroom behind the Armstrong 20R cockpit. Okay, and then we're going to place uh, one of our equipment plates on top of the Aurora 13G grav drive. All right. All the other pieces are duplicates, but I'll show you how to put them on. The uh, Str Stroud Cowling 1LA, um, this is the port top version, but uh, we're going to put it on the starboard side. And this is the starboard version, which we're going gonna to put on the port side, and that creates sort of this uh, angle of the wing. We're going to place the Dunn 71 engine on the outside of that. At the only connector that it has for the side, creating the forward swept uh, look of the engines. And then on the outside of those, this uh, Deimos Wing A, starboard and port, to make the cool look of the Star Furies uh, cowling on the outside of those engines there. Okay, then we're going to place uh, four more equipment plates on top of those engines in the forward portion of those engines there. And on the bottom engines as well in the forward portion. And that's going to let us mount four of these PB-100 neutron beams. Now, just like on the TIE Fighter build that I did, four of these are going to increase your recharge rate if you have the energy uh, attributed to them. And uh, that's probably going to be super deadly. 
just to make sure that we have uh, a nominal build at the end, we're also going to place an Adelatl 280B missile launcher on top of the Deimos spine, just behind the Armstrong 20R cockpit here. And then we're going to place a Scorch P60 megawatt pulse laser turret on top of the equipment plate that was on top of the Aurora 13G grab drive. Okay. Now you can color this however you want. I've seen uh, lots of different uh, Star Fury colorations. Um, the one that I uh, put on the screen here is a little bit uh, colored blue, uh, but you could uh, color it any color that you want. Make the ship your own. Um, the creation of the diagonal and swept back, uh, swept back uh, cowling of the wings uh, is tough in Starfield. Not a whole lot of uh, diagonal uh, connectors um, and not a whole lot of swept back connectors either as far as that goes. Uh, but I think that for the eye, this kind of creates the look of the Star Fury. I hope that you end up liking it. We're going to take this uh, ship into space and destroy something uh, here in a second. So but you end up with a nominal build. Um, in the flight check for the weapons, um, I put the PB-100 neutron beams on left click, the missile launcher on right click, and then since we don't have to uh, trigger this ourselves, the pulse laser turret I put on what would be G for PC. Okay, and after you've done that, then you have a nominal build, the ship has uh, only two max crew. You could have uh, made this habitation into a control room. If you wanted to do that, you can uh, hit space to edit it and then move it to the control station instead. And if you do that, then you would have a max crew of six. But you could also turn this into uh, living quarters or uh, you know whatever you wanted for the ship all right let's go ahead and exit this should we uh should we name it uh, star fury yes we should so we're gonna hit uh, g sorry not g we're gonna hit uh, c uh, for the flight check and then hit g to rename the ship it was the cinnaball that i tore apart for this uh, we're gonna name it star fury Great. Confirm that. Accept. And there's our Star Fury. Let's exit that. And there she is. Ready to fly. We're going to hop down here, though, and uh, get ourselves a mission. I always forget to get the mission beforehand, so. But inside of my little habitation here we'll have the mission terminal and let's destroy the crimson fleet reaper at Afion. okay we definitely want to see this thing take off so let's jump over here Get up to the ship and uh, board the cockpit. And then watch this thing tick off. Engines firing. Here we go. Pretty cool, symmetrical uh, takeoff there, and then I really love the look of the engines behind the Star Fury. We have some excellent maneuverability on the ship. And uh, we'll take off to go do our mission after we uh, allocate our weapons. Oh, 
Okay, we're going to uh, get our grav drive down to just one. And we're going to turn down our laser turret and our missiles so that we can allocate more into our get that full allocation to the engines uh, none to the missiles or the uh, the laser turret we just want to see how the how the lasers are going to do on this thing obviously the 280b uh, missile launcher is going to be super deadly but this could be uh, your allocation if you wanted if you just wanted to use the lasers and that's what we're going to try and do when we take out to uh, to go do our mission destroy the crimson fleet reaper at Ophion we're going to hit L to go to our quests and then R to go directly to Ophion now Ophion is a uh, level 45 system we've got what we need to grab jump there so let's do that Wix Mini's back again. How are you doing? Welcome to Quest ALTV. We're going to hunt down this uh, Crimson Fleet Reaper. These lasers are brutal. Done. Oh, we've got some more guys who want some? Here. Let's boost to get away from that. Destroy that ship. Oh, we've got another one. Crimson Fleet Phantom over here. Where are you at, buddy? Let's boost away from that. Our shields are holding up, certainly. Crimson Fleet Ghost. We've got four ships to destroy. Let's get a little bit more up to speed. Use our boosters to get away from that missile lock. Use our maneuverability to get around to this Crimson Fleet ship and destroy it with our lasers. And the Star Fury is victorious! We didn't even have two of our weapon systems uh, activated at all. Uh, let's do a victory roll here, shall we? Oh yeah! Alright, let's look at some of the statistics for the ship. Um, we have a cruising speed right now, even with I, I don't know how much the cargo affects it, but we have the, all of the cargo that would normally be on the Dragonfly. Uh, so that is way too much cargo. We have a cruising speed of 181. The boost gets us up to 6, almost 7, 680. That's pretty fast. Um, let's, let's look at the statistics for it. Uh, we put a control station on here, so it could have a crew of up to six. Um, I believe it has a reactor of 40 because I have a point in uh, in reactors, so it's got an extra point there of energy. Um, at any rate, jump range of 30 light years, shield of 1740 with Vasco pumping up our um, Vanguard shield. And uh, the lasers themselves have a total power of 92, but there's four of them. Uh, they regenerate almost instantly. And you'll use those on a pulse sort of basis, just sort of uh, tapping uh, your uh, left click about every second uh, or so. With the Adelaide 280B missile launcher on there, uh, once we're locked, that would be devastating uh, for a ship that had no shields. And, of course, we have a... Uh, Pulse, we have a pulse laser turret as well. So the ship comes out to about 284,000 credits. Uh, I like the look of the wings. Uh, it's tough in Starfield to make them look swept back um, and uh, at a diagonal. Some of the uh, Star Fury ships that I saw, uh, the bottom wings were in a configuration that were almost level to the ground. So I'm okay with that uh, for the build. All right. Well, we've got a shorter build for you today. Um, I really enjoyed the Star Fury from Babylon 5. It was suggested by one of my viewers, and I'm happy to uh, 
to accommodate by trying to build that ship out in Starfield. Uh, if you want to see some of my other videos, so uh, you can go to uh, Questdale uh, TV on Twitch, and uh, we're playing all kinds of different games. I'll pop up to the uh, scheduled end screen here so you can see what else we're playing. Uh, and if you haven't already followed, uh, like my friend Wick Smitty, uh, please follow the channel so you'll know what I'm on. Um, I pop on all the time to do various things for you guys. So We're also playing Baldur's Gate 3 most Fridays with the Wolfpack. Uh, Starfield, of course, is uh, one of the mainstays of the channel, especially for the ship builds. Minecraft, Ark Survival Ascended, and Valheim with Teetering Turtle uh, as a guest for progression. And uh, I've added another day uh, for the um, Valheim for just mess around day with Teetering Turtle. So thanks for joining us on the stream. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you next time on Quest ALTV.